Hello, for people that don't know me, I am obviously Rob Daniels, not Dan Roberts on the sheet. Um, <laughs> yeah, okay. My project is to use the cuttlefish, Sepia officialitis, I think that's how you pronounce it, and uh, using frozen food and live food and seeing a difference in growth rates. Um, there's my two hypotheses. Um, I'm not too sure if they're completely right, but I would change them if I need to. And um, yeah, the reason why I wanted to use a couple of fish is because the more and more fish that we use and eat and stuff, um, we have to obviously eat different alternative foods, and they're used as an alternative food, a couple of fish. Um, yeah, I've got a couple of references. Um, they are the basic. You know, like the, their names, their, where they're from, what they eat, their behaviour, etc. Um, they're just the ones that I will use throughout the thing. There's more on the handout. Um, right, the materials that we've got, we've currently got two holding tanks for the type of fish, one we're using at the moment, but we will move them over and stuff at the time. Um, they will have protein skimmers in, they will have the filters in, they will be fully sorted and they'll have the pH tests and all that stuff to go with it. Um, the shrimp tank is a basic shrimp tank with a water stone at the moment. Um, that we catch the shrimp often to obviously keep the food going and to measure in the growth, because um, it's obviously the stress related thing of wet weighing constantly. I'm going to wet weigh them once at the beginning, wet weigh them once at the end and use a grid system along the tank to estimate their rough growth so that they do that. Yeah. Um, associated, um, then for Blue Reef National Marine Aquarium Biology Association and Plymouth University are all part of the project. Um, <coughs> the three top ones are used, they, they will give me, well possibly more, more information on the subjects and stuff and obviously Plymouth is because Fan of Marine School is part of Plymouth and it will be, also want to go to Plymouth <laughs> University. Um, these are the four main ones that I will use for my project because they did a similar test to what I've done. So I will use them as a, as a sort of backup kind of thing to prove the hypothesis or so and so. But um, Dominguez has written loads of papers on it as well. Um, okay, the methodology. We've already set up the tank before so we'll be able to do it again. Um, Obviously, setting up, you get the tank, you fill it with water, you sort it, you wash sand, etc., etc. Um, after we've done that, and when I'm ready to go, I will separate them into two equal groups because we've got two larger cuttlefish. They will possibly be separated into two different groups so that it's more even in the growth rate. Um, yeah, measuring the growth, so I've already gone through um, using the wet weighing and the grid system as a rough estimate. Um, the dates, I will, they're on the thing, I will be doing six weeks, I think it's between February and March, so it's the last ones before Christmas, before Christmas, before Easter, and um, on there is also the people for the other people from the project, so that we've worked out a way to get around everyone's project at the same time. And the statistical test that we use is an unpaired T test and I'm not sure why, but that seems to be the correct reason to go through it and I've looked up information, it seems right. Um, ethical review, they're all on the sheet, but there's things like stress, human impacts, like coming up to it. Um, obviously feeding the shrimp, the shrimp, we had to write a short thing about the shrimp as well, because obviously you can't, it's not really ethical to catch them out of the natural habitat, put them into a tank and then feed them to other creatures. So, um, that's also one. And water changing, because we can't obviously change the water ridiculously, we have to do it like slowly and so that we don't stress them and all that sort of stuff. Also, the risk assessment is another thing. You know. um, my contingency plan um, is the male to female ratio of isopods, because um, when we did our survey week, I obviously we watched the seaweed and I saw them and I thought it'd be cool to look through. And um, I noticed that I could determine the difference and I thought that'd be a good contingency because it's right down by the local beach. 
can easily do it and finish it off with this day for the nurse. So, so this is that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, there you go, that's the schedule of operations, um, 16th of February to the 30th of March, which will unfortunately leave me a few days over Easter, but that'll be alright. And um, the weeks afterwards, I will be using to write up and do all the statistical stuff and all that sort of stuff. Thank you for listening.